Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and welcome to English with Lingo Trip. Today I'd like to talk to you about autumn holidays in Great Britain. By the way, summer here ends on the 21st of September. So now it's officially autumn and we can start putting on our warm coats and enjoy cozy home environment. So yeah, let's see what's there to enjoy and look forward to in the next couple of months. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? There are two major holidays that are celebrated in the UK in autumn. So the first one, you can probably guess. Yes, the first one is Halloween. Da -da 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 -da, pumpkins here and there. La -da -da. Well, I have to say that Halloween in the UK is not as big as it is in the United States. You're not going to see houses um, covered in Halloween decorations. You're not likely to see any of these in the UK. Sorry to disappoint you, but that's true. In the UK, Halloween is more of a pop culture trend. So people would put some decorations, mostly for the kids. You will definitely find things like Halloween themed bunting hanging in shops, or maybe shop assistants or people who work in bars. They will wear some uh, fun or scary costumes just to entertain everyone and create a bit of a holiday mood or celebratory mood. Kids though have a lot of fun dressing up and going trick-or-treating. <laughs> they can get their faces painted, wear costumes, which don't really have to be scary, it can be a superhero costume, but something that kids really enjoy. And then they take their little bag and walk around going trick-or-treating, knocking on people's doors and asking for treats. What you won't see here though is a lot of sweets. People just don't do that. You will see some, but not huge amounts. Four pieces of candy? This is gonna take forever! Well, at least I've never seen huge amounts of sweets, you know, and kids carrying huge bags. So it's generally a nice little tradition, but it's not a big event in residential areas. So communities probably won't come together just for the sake of Halloween. Guys, if you want to learn how to speak English with a British accent and if you want to boost your pronunciation in just two weeks, I really recommend that you sign up for our online course and I will help you reach your goal. You will gain confidence in spoken English and get as close as you can to speaking and sounding like native British speaker. The link and the promo code will be in the description box. Teenagers and adults, though, can have a lot of fun partying. There are lots of parties with Halloween themes where you can dress up as your favorite TV show character, maybe, or just something scary. There are also some um, contests for the most original costume. I don't know if you've watched The Big Bang Theory, they were wearing um, those outfits. So Sheldon was wearing the Doppler effect costume. You know, that's nice and original. So what are you supposed to be? Me? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> and uh, teenagers and adults, they enjoy that kind of fun, that kind of stuff. So you will probably see some of this here as well. What people in the UK definitely enjoy though is carving pumpkins. And not just because a carved pumpkin makes a nice lantern, you know, it's called jack-o'-lantern if you put a candle inside, but because you can do quite a lot of stuff with, you know, the inside of the pumpkin. You can make something you can cook. And because British people enjoy their baking, pumpkin pie is very popular or pumpkin soup. And even if you're not a big fan of Halloween, 
on cold autumn evenings you'll definitely enjoy something nice and warm. Speaking of food, who would say no to a nice pumpkin spice latte? This is also a trend and people connect it with Halloween so they do enjoy the lovely drink. Another Halloween treat that's quite typical I'd say is toffee apples. Do you know what toffee apples are? So if you put an apple on a stick, dip it in hot toffee, it's liquid, it's a bit like caramel, uh, and then you leave it to cool down and dry, you end up having this nice, lovely, juicy apple with caramel on the outside. It's really nice. The other holiday that I wanted to tell you about goes back in history. It is Guy Fawkes Night. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Doesn't sound familiar? Well, that's a line from a very famous film called V for Vendetta, and it's related to this holiday. On the 5th of November, British people celebrate Guy Fawkes Night, or they also call it Bonfire Night. So what does it all mean, you may ask? In 1605, so a lot of years ago, a group of people planned to explode the Houses of Parliament in London. And on the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes was guarding those explosives that were stored under the House of Lords. Uh, and on that day, he was arrested, so the plan didn't work and the Houses of Parliament were not exploded. People of London were lighting bonfires all over the city to celebrate that their king, James I, survived and the big explosion and a big tragedy didn't happen. So the film I mentioned, V for Vendetta, has a lot of references to this event and the mask, you know, the famous masks that people in that film wear, they are Guy Fawkes masks. And if you haven't watched this film, now is a good time to watch it. Grab yourself a nice pumpkin spiced latte and enjoy autumn. We've talked about history, but what do people actually do on this day? On the 5th of November, well, at, at night, in the evening, when it's dark, people gather to watch some fireworks. Usually communities organise something, some firework displays, or some people even set up fireworks in their back garden. It's really beautiful and quite loud, I have to say. But kids love it, everyone enjoys being together and I think people feel united and they appreciate that such a huge and dramatic change in their history didn't happen. Otherwise nobody knows where we would have been now. This is all from me for today because actually when November comes everyone starts getting ready for Christmas and that's a different story and maybe one day I'll tell you more about British Christmas. Thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what autumn holidays you celebrate. Or maybe you found out something surprising from our video today. So don't forget to share, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in our next video.